his video will show you how to replace the windshield wipers on a 2019 Toyota Camry. So we're gonna be using Trico Pro Blades and a small snap-on screwdriver, flathead. So I did my homework on these. I don't know if they're both sides are rain because this one's missing a door. So I'm just gonna start. We're gonna start on the passenger side. You can lift the blade all the way up if you want. I don't recommend that because once you take the arm off, this, I mean, once you take the blade off, the arm is made from metal and it, if it comes down real hard on the windshield, it will crack it. So I always start on the passenger side because it's closer to me. And I'm going to lift up just enough so I can stick the screwdriver underneath. And there's a tab on here. I'm gonna push down on the tab. I could do it with my fingers, but I'm using a screwdriver to be professional. And then I'm gonna push down on the tab and I'm gonna push back like that. You saw that? So I push down and I push back. So that released it. So watch the book, the arm. Like I said, it's metal, it'll crack the windshield. This is the tab that I was telling you about. And all the style blades are made basically like this. And you push down on that tab and you push back like that. So even if it was a Trico Pro, I don't know if this is Rain X, I'm pretty, it doesn't look like it had a door, but if it had a door, it would just pop the door up and then use the tab. So, shout out to Trico Pro. Make sure you take off the protectors, which sometimes it runs the whole blade or it's just on the end. And this one specific one is on the end. And let me show you. They're all basically made the same on the same format. And this one, I'm gonna show you, this goes a little tab right here. Okay, and I can use my finger to take it off. So what happens sometimes is this metal, the plastic gets melted on the metal after so many, I guess after the heat and everything, and it's kind of hard to get off. So once I stick it on it, I'm gonna shake it back and forth. So sometimes it locks up, so you wanna just shake it back and forth to free it up. And I use my finger, you can use a screwdriver. I put my finger underneath the tab, push down on it, and then push back. You see how easy that was? That's only because it's not melted on there. So make sure you pull it all the way on and shake it back and forth to make sure it don't come off. On the other side, it does have a door. I did my homework before I started the video to make it shorter. And this blade does not go all the way up of this arm. It stops right about there, but that's enough room for us. So to show you. pop this up and then with this one I noticed I just pulled back and it came clean off so just pull back and see it came off like I said watch this, this blade now this did have a tab on it I don't know if it was broken or not and if it didn't come off that way I would have pushed down on the tab and then pulled back same format Trico Pro Sometimes, like I said, it runs the whole blade. Works better when you take them off. And lift this up. Put that in and snap it into place. And then just wiggle it back and forth so it doesn't come off. And like I said, I'm gonna just put my finger in it, pull back. Watch this, it comes right off. And this is the tab I'm telling you about. So I, I typically use my finger, but I'm trying to be professional. Put the screen, shake it, and I love you guys. You did it again, proud of you.